today we're starting our upstairs railing. Our workspace is getting a little messy again, but it's okay. So we have marked where the bottom railing goes at a fourth of an inch off the bottom of the post. We first spindle cut at three inches. So I believe what we'll start doing here is we'll mark seven eighths of an inch. So we know where our first spindle should go. So it's straight up and down. So we'll mark it. And we'll mark this one. So we're going to and straight. Definitely not that way. Say that's now I know these spindles look tall, but they are the same height as these railings, and I think being over the top of the upstairs like this, they should have a little bit more height to them. So I'm not going to worry about that. I think it looks just fine. Now we'll let it dry, and the only thing we have left to do up here on this floor is those two trims and our carpet.
Okay, I don't know if I'm going to put hardwood beams up here yet. That might not look pretty too bad, actually. That might look pretty cool. Across up here. I don't know. I have to think about that because I still can do this. It might be kind of nice. All right, so we have some pieces of wood to put in this. So that it gets to be how are we gonna do that? Same height. Yeah, that'll work. Just like that. Oh, this is going to be easy. This will be easy. We'll put some glue on here. And we put it down on the bottom. Slide it in. And I think we'll make it equal with the outside. Well, maybe we'll just try to we'll just try to center it. There it went in. Okay, now we got to go back here and fix that one side that popped out again. It's just not cooperating. Now we're all right. Don't you think that looks much better? I do. Okay. We'll let that all sit there like that now. And um, I have to go back down and help my cus husband cut some more beams for up here because I don't have enough. I'm short 30 inches. <laughs> 